Hello world, Mr. Resistor here, continuing our Alpha Nubro experience. Um, so, we have today um, is the beginning of Amar Foundation Day. Uh, days? Anyway, seven day event. Um, so, I think that answers our question of what we'll be doing once we're done with career missions is uh, we'll go to Amar Space and try to participate. Um, all right, so um, at the very least, we will be shooting fireworks at parades um, for skill points. So, uh, <clears throat> what else is going on? Let's see, we can claim our daily reward, which is a booster. Uh, let's see, got some other Fear Agent rewards from completing that uh, track, all the stuff we did yesterday. So, we can claim all of that. Uh, yeah, let's see, real quick. Ah, okay, so we've got our frigate kills. So, um, sometime soon we should be looking to uh, move into the, one of the thrashers that we got. Eventually, of course, uh, we'll be going to a cruiser probably a rupture although uh might might try a stabber um i've actually never flown one of those before typically my mimitar cruiser is the rupture okay so except all those we will open that now got uh <clears throat> uh, let's see. What do we? Our foundation container. Oh, we got an overdrive injector. Okay. So. The yeah, fireworks and a festival launcher. Okay. Uh, let's see. Do we have... Yeah, go ahead and inject that. Um, we'll see what happens. I think, I think what I might want to try and do is take our venture... Um, over to a Mars space because there's going to be mining events. Um, you really can't solo them, um, even with a high skill uh, character. I don't think it's possible to to do the lowest level of mining event solo. Um, so uh, they're designed for uh, a team of three lowest level. Okay, so gonna use our venture for this guy. <clears throat> yeah, so the um the uh what faction event uh mining things at the lowest level um, it's three ventures. Um, drive active. Second tier up, you can have, I think, four ships, and it can be uh, expedition frigates. I don't remember if it includes mining barges or not, but ex expedition frigates and uh, ventures. 
you can do. I think you can also bring in other T1 frigates because um, there are some enemies in there um, to kill. All right, we'll put our drones out because I think someone's going to come and attack us eventually. Uh, yeah, let's see. <clears throat> so uh now we begin the long wait i suppose this will be a fairly boring episode um it's mostly going to be mining i think uh that'll take up pretty much all the time that we have. Um, we're not going to have time to travel to a Mars base today. I don't remember how the rest of this um, or what the next mission is for this career track. Um, might be building something else. Um, we'll see. Um, if so, <clears throat> if it's going to be a long build, then uh, we might just sacrifice the uh, time bonus and let it go overnight. Just turn it in the next day. Um, <clears throat> that could be sacrificing a couple of hundred thousand isk potentially. Um, hopefully not. But sometimes that's just how it goes. Oh, hey, here comes our friend. Um, so, uh, you might note that it is uh, that we don't have our usual skilling spree task up here. Um, instead we've got Foundation Day Parade. Um, so we're going to go to, well, we're not going to this time because, let's see, uh, our Dishapur. Yeah, 26 jumps. Um, yeah, that's uh, that's more than we've got time for tonight. Um, so, uh, we're gonna miss out on our skill points for today. Um, it is worth doing though, um, let's see, do we have, is it in here? Usually, like for the Minmatar one, they had a little flag down here that you'd click on and see the details. Um, but anyway, uh, you do get. Yeah, there we go. 5,000 skill points uh, for doing this. Usually, it's, you know, it's pretty quick. If you're in. Uh, 
if you're in a Mars space already, you might be looking at six or seven jumps. Uh, as a range. Um, <clears throat> you know, obviously, we are not in MR space, so it's considerably more distance. Um, now, there may also be um, a sort of uh, like a rally. Um, they'll send you uh, along a route to a bunch of different beacons that uh, <laughs> kind of give you a tour of the history. Um, you want to be a little bit careful when doing those uh, because people do camp the gates um, looking to get some kills. Um, <clears throat> and sometimes they'll and, uh, They'll almost certainly take you through low sec space, sometimes null sec. Um, people generally say that null sec is safer than low sec. Uh, some people even say it's safer than high sec. I don't know if that's true. Uh, maybe at some point we will find out. Maybe we'll do that on this character. Um, I occasionally dip my toes into low sec. Um, I've never really spent time in null sec. Um, I think some would certainly argue that that's where the real game happens. Um, that, uh, The asteroid is High sec is for what noobs and trade hubs, um, and maybe that's true. Uh, for me personally, I uh, a lot of times I'm playing this game just to chill, you know. I want to just kind of relax and strip mine some asteroid belts. Um, although, to be fair, I haven't actually done that for some time, so... <clears throat> All right, so as I said uh, yesterday, we've completed the mission. Um, basically, as soon as we were attacked, uh, this our mission objective dropped. Um, but Kernite's just too valuable, so we're going to get all of these. Um, it's more than it's going to fit in our ship, um, but so we'll have to make two trips, uh, but it's worth it in the long run. <clears throat> now, uh, I don't actually remember what um, Amar Founder Days have. Like I said, I, I know they have mining missions, I know they've got the parades. There may also be some uh, combat sites. 
Um, the Minmatar one had um, had combat sites that uh, were reenactments of um, the Minmatar's fight for freedom. Uh, against the Amar. Uh, they're tough sites to do. Um, <clears throat> uh, I don't know that I've ever completed one, actually. No, I must have. Because, uh, you know, you get through... Uh, the asteroid is depleted. You get through... Uh, I forget, it's two or three rooms, and the uh, uh, final boss is an overseer who drops a... Um, drops a loot box that you sell to uh, Edencom. It's a... Overseers, something cash. Anyway, um, I feel like the Amar event will probably have something similar, but I don't actually know. Because, <clears throat> for whatever reason, they're just not putting that in. Uh, the agency. Seems a little weird. Um, I don't know if that's uh, just one of the things you don't get when you're alpha, or... Is it because I'm new? I don't know. Or uh, is it just because of a standing issue? That could be. Hard to say. A lot of the uh, pirate factions in Minmatar space have connections uh, to the Amar Empire. Um, you know, and the converse is true, right? The pirate factions in Amar space are connected to Minmatar, so uh, fighting them can affect your standings a little bit. Um, usually not a whole lot, and you know if your your standings get in too bad of a state, then uh, well, then you want to go and do the uh, Sisters of Eve um, storyline quest. And you can pick one of the four factions at the end, and you'll get a pretty good standing bonus with that faction for completing it. The asteroid is depleted. I actually just did that on another character. Actually, my original character, who's still uh, kind of paying the price for participating in faction warfare back in the day, um, but I managed to get my uh, Amar Empire standing almost up to zero. 
<coughs> and that's uh, and that's after the diplomacy bonus, which I believe I've got diplomacy five on that character for exactly that reason. If your standing gets too low with a faction, um, I believe you can always do level one missions for a faction and you can kind of slowly rebuild your reputation that way. Um, <coughs> <laughs> but you may have to you may have to find uh, missions outside of that faction space so for example uh, I might do uh, missions for joint harvesting uh, which is an Amar faction the asteroid is depleted. Group that has a lot of bases and uh, mission agents in. Minbatar space. Uh, <clears throat> in fact, I have been doing that. Um, Uh, for the uh, for the air tasks, the right? Like you're supposed to do like twenty level one security missions, twenty uh, level one distribution missions, twenty level one mining missions, if, if I remember correctly. Um, for my Minmatar characters, they mostly did. Uh, those missions for uh, joint harvesting to get Amar uh, faction standing repaired. Uh, you know, I think I got it pretty well nailed down. Um, oops. Oh well. If your faction standing gets too bad uh, in a faction, then I don't remember if NPCs will actually attack you. Um, <clears throat> but you can kind of lose the benefit of uh, the is high security space, if I remember correctly. Occasionally, if you watch local, you'll get a message about somebody, uh, somebody coming into a system that has criminal status. Um, I believe you can always travel safely in your pod, or I should say safe from NPCs. Um, other players, of course, can gank you. And some will. You know, especially if you have criminal status. Alright, we are full. Oh, because we forgot to empty our hold. Okay. Warp drive active. Oh, stop and recall my drones. 
Got to keep an eye on that. Um, Autopilot engaged. <clears throat> a lot of people leave drones behind in asteroid belts. Um, Autopilot disabled. No waypoint set. Sometimes I'll collect them. Um, you know, if I see the person that left them, I'll uh, I'll even give them back usually. Warp drive active. Um, you know, but if I don't see him again, then uh, hey, free drones. Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. Okay, so cool thing, <clears throat> if you want to return to a mission location, and you've already acquired the objective, uh, once you undock, if you don't have that objective in your cargo hold, it'll register you as not having it. So you can just warp to location. Um, if not, you can go to read details and the location here. Um, you can warp to it or As I believe I've mentioned before, um, when you're doing uh, security missions, it's worth checking the surroundings because uh, on your mining tab, because some of those locations will have uh, low security ores, even if they're in a high security system. Redeem those to the home station. Put our drones back out. Oh yeah, I feel like I have may have talked about taxes before, but um, as I am still in an NPC corporation, or still paying pretty significant uh, tax, and that comes out of <coughs> discovery rewards and mission rewards. Um, And yeah, if you wanna if you wanna avoid those, then uh, then you wanna join a, a player corporation. Um, player corporations can set their own tax rate, um, <clears throat> and uh, you know, it kind of depends on kind of depends on what they're doing. Um, you know, it. Uh, might not necessarily make sense for them to uh, 
have attacks on uh, NPC mission rewards. If there are no NPCs in the uh, area where they're working, so they might have some kind of other tax system that's not um, that's not automatic like that, or they might just collect no taxes at all. Um, I have a a uh, player corporation set up for my own characters. It only contains my own characters. And since I don't have a player own station or anything like that that I need to do upkeep on, um, I don't have any tax set on it. Um, I did at one point have a tax. Um, I briefly had a player own station years ago. Um, I ended up abandoning it. No idea. I, I assume somebody <clears throat> somebody blew it up and put their own in there, probably. Which is fine. Um, it was kind of far away from the space where I typically operate. Um, you know, and you have to visit them relatively often. You have to have ice. Uh to make fuel um, or buy the fuel blocks and transport them out to the to the station, you know, all that kind of stuff. And it was, um, for my particular situation, it was a lot of effort for not much reward. But, you know, if you're in a different situation, it might be worth looking into for you. The asteroid is depleted.
asteroid is depleted. The asteroid is depleted. <clears throat> All right, well, a bit of a dry throat today, kind of causing me to cough a lot, so I mercifully muted my audio for you. You're welcome. Um, getting pretty close to done on this. Um, <clears throat> how much more to go? Hard to say. I guess that's where a uh, ore scanner comes in handy, but like I said, I, as a general rule, um, it doesn't make much difference to me. Uh, you know, when I um, when I go in for mining, I'm not trying to necessarily optimize time. I'm just gonna get as much of the ore as I can. Um, some people like to try and get super efficient with mining. Um, and for those guys, the scanners are useful, I'm sure. Well, that's not how I roll. Uh, typically, I'm just coming in. Um, <clears throat> you know, maybe it's a situation like this mission where I've got a low sec or in high sec, so I want to take advantage of that. Um, or um, other times, maybe um, I've got a storyline mission that requires or, so that's usually Scordite or Veldspar. Um, you know, so. The asteroid is depleted. You know, I only need a thousand of those or 1500 of those. And we can easily do that on a single venture run. Um, <clears throat> or I'm actually out mining, in which case I've got a fleet up uh, with all four of my Omega characters and, uh, you know, and my, my Orca with boosts, and we're just there to just eliminate a asteroid belt or two. Um, and that can be a fun day, if that's what you're into. Um, you know, it's a nice you can sit there and do that while you're watching Netflix or something.
So, let's see. Let's take a quick look. Aha. Uh -huh. All right, so we've got a couple of these angel hideaways. Um, and an angel burrow. I don't remember what the burrows are like. The hideaways are doable in a frigate. Um, <clears throat> so when we head in, we'll see um, we'll see what mission ten on this career path is like. If it's not going to take too long, then uh, maybe I'll hit one of those hideaways um, while we're waiting for the thing to build. Um, it is going to be a long time, like, I'd say more than 10 or 15 minutes, then uh, we might just let it go and pick it up tomorrow. And then uh, <clears throat> and then do the long trek to a Mars space. Um, the asteroid is depleted. All right. Done with that. Orb drive active. Another flow cytometry crate. <laughs> Docking permission requested. Docking request accepted. as a reward. Not bad. Okay. All right, we got some hats. And we got this. So let's go ahead and reprocess the uh, ores that we have in here. There it is. <clears throat> so that's why we did it, because that's 140,000 worth of uh, mineral that we don't have to buy. And we're looking at an hour and a half. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and <clears throat> let that run. And we'll come back and pick it up tomorrow. Um, so let's see real quick what we got in our crates. Castrol. Um, that's a Caldari frigate. <clears throat> Not my personal favorite of the Caldari frigates because I kind of like missiles. Uh, magnet. I, I want to say that's an Amar ship. Let's see. Yeah. Oh, okay, that's the Amar uh, Exploration, T1 Exploration Frigate. And then the... Uh, we'll go ahead and... Let's go ahead and activate these. Oh, I forgot I already had one, that one. Oh, uh, what one is this? Parox. Oh, 
uh, battlecruiser. Well, actually, let's see what else we've got here. Oh, for mining kernite, for reprocessing kernite, very cool. Um, so if we go into the ship tree, <clears throat> we can see, um, okay, so battle cruisers are not Omega locked. Um, so in theory, I could fly that ship. Uh, we'll see. We'll see where I'm at when uh, <clears throat> when I get to that point. Um, I may just decide to stick with um, stick with Minmatar, or or we'll see. Um, all right, let's go ahead and... Ooh, medium shield extender. Very good. <clears throat> All right, well... With that, I think we will call it a day. And, uh, so... Until next time, have a good one.